The Miami Dolphins have made some important changes to their coaching staff already this offseason. New Dolphins offensive line coach Butch Berry will be tasked with improving things up front for Tua Tagovailoa. Berry was hired to replace former offensive line coach Matt Applebaum in Miami. Before working with the Denver Broncos for a portion of the 2022 NFL season, Berry worked with the San Francisco 49ers, Green Bay Packers, Tampa Bay Buccaneers and University of Miami, unfortunately for Berry. He didn't receive a very ringing endorsement from an insider connected to his most recent employer, the Broncos, a Broncos insider on New Dolphins offensive line coach Butch Berry, he's an idiot. Got fired mid-season for incompetence, players hated him. Openly laughed him and called him a joke, after Hackett firing, interim head coach Rosberg immediately fired him, players applauded when announced team meeting, it's not exactly what anyone working or rooting for the Dolphins wants to hear about a new addition to the coaching staff. That is especially true considering just how important positive offensive line play is for the Dolphins, of course, every football team from Pee Wee to the NFL hopes for great pass and run blocking, but it is arguably more important for the Dolphins given the concerns about the durability of quarterback Tua Tagovailoa. In all three of Tagovailoa's seasons in the NFL so far, he hasn't played in more than 13 games. In the 2022 regular season, Tagovailoa missed four regular season games and the team's lone playoff game. Tagovailoa suffered two confirmed concussions during the campaign, and he just recently cleared the league's concussion protocol. He spent more than a month in the protocol before he was finally cleared, though there is confidence that Tagovailoa will be able to return to the field without an increased risk of suffering more brain injuries. There is no question that the team will want to make protecting him a key goal heading into the 2023 campaign. When it comes to how the offensive line played in the 2022 season for the Dolphins, the unit ranked 10th in the league when it came to allowing sacks with 35. The run blocking was less solid as the team ranked 25th in terms of total rushing yards in the season with just 1,686, it'll be interesting to see if the Dolphins decide to make any further additions and improvements to the offensive line in free agency or the draft later this year.